Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am trying out a couple of new things and as always they're not new on the market, they're just new to me. So I wanted to try out an eyeliner, so I wouldn't say I'm an expert on eyeliner at all, it's not something I use on the regular, <laughs> but this one was sent to me in a Bella box and I thought well, I got it, I might as well try it. So this one is from Dolce, it's their Ultra Precision Eyeliner in Black, is that what they're calling it? Yes. So it's waterproof formula, long wear eyeliner. And, oh gosh it goes easily onto my hand. It's almost got that kind of like charcoal coal-y, hang on, I'll make that bigger, look through it so it's not like super black, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, it glides on really smoothly, um, let me dig out the card, for this as always Bellbox sent a card describing it. So this one is an ultra soft smudge resistant coal liner that glides on effortlessly, creating perfectly defined lines. The creamy matte formula allows for seamless blending to create the perfect smoky allure. The highly pigmented texture won't feather or bleed. The carbon black formula is infused with pearls that give off an intense and dramatic finish. As the tip begins to fade, follow through with the metal makeup sharpener to keep the tip sharpened and precise. Okay, now um, this is only available on their website, is the only place I could find, well actually no, I found it on this random site which is um, Fish Pond, and <laughs> Fish Pond to me is kind of similar to like Mighty Ape, it was an odd place to find something like this, but anyway, they were selling it for um, 58 Whereas on the um, Dolce actual website, you could get it for uh, 37 So, um, yeah, bit of a pain. I couldn't seem to find it anywhere else. The card doesn't say anywhere else. It just says their website. So I'll give it a go anyway, see what it's like. So um, I don't like using a black eyeliner in my waterline so I'm just going to what they call tight line and tight line is where we line the very top so underneath here of the eyelid um, which is very tender and <laughs> you can certainly poke yourself in the eye <laughs> and um, I, like I said I'm not the best at it I'm, I'm going to give it a go I mean I've tight lined enough with eyeshadows and some eyeliners. The problems I have is that they bleed so, so if you're putting it up here you blink your eye and you see it down the bottom and it's annoying. Okay a lot of eyeshadows um, do it. I have found some that don't though. Um, so I need to get to my mirror and put on a magnifying glass to do this and I might do one eye and then come back and then I'll show you how I do the other. Okay, oh my eyes. <laughs> so I have done this eye, so you can see how it gives it a bit of definition is one reason a lot of people do it and it kind of fills in the blank space, especially if you haven't got um, a lot of eyelashes, if they're pretty sparse, filling in your tight line, uh, tight line, <laughs> filling in the tight line will um, make it more defined. So this is going to look weird, but how you do it is you basically pull your eyelid up until you can see, if I pull it up, I can see my inner, inner water line, I guess you would call it. And I'm going to try, attempt to do this on camera. I won't, might not be the best because I'm kind of cat handed. We'll see how we go. So we pull it back and then, hang on, I need my mirror. So pull it back until I can see and then because my eyes are quite sensitive, I do it in a little bit. So I'll do a little bit, pause. Do a little bit more, <laughs> pause. <laughs> a 
I mean, by all means, if your eyes aren't as sensitive as mine, you can just do it in a, a quick one go and you'll be done. I will say, it's going on really quickly, really easy. I'm not having to rub um, quite hard to get a, a decent amount of colour on there. It's um, going on really well. And best of all, it's not bleeding into the lower waterline. Yay! That's always a bonus. Right, let me see if I can finish this off. And being that it's waterproof is even better because being waterproof it shouldn't bleed. Especially if your eyes are watering like mine do. Right, so now if I look up you can see, hopefully, <laughs> the um, black eyeliner in the top waterline. And you can see how it's just given it just a bit more definition. So I'm not going to... Uh, will I do anything else? Um, I might try and do a very thin line close to my lash line across the top as well. We'll see how we go. So this is another thing that's quite awkward to do. But as we older the as we old as we get older our skin sags, of course. So I always have to kind of gently pull you don't want to pull too hard, but gently pull so it's a little bit taut so that you can get some room and then just gently go in as close to the lash line as I can. It takes me a long time so I'm just doing it little bit by little bit. I'm kind of just doing a little strip resting, little strip, resting. Okay, so it's not the best line, as I said, I'm not um, a very good person with eyeliner, it's not something I'm fully experienced with, um, but as everything, as like everything, I'm learning. So this is quite a harsh little line, so I'm going to just um, smudge it out with a um, eyeshadow smudging tool or brush sorry this is just a wee one from who's this from Morphe it's the M508 so it's just a little smudging brush I'm just going to take oh that might not work actually no change that to this this is an angled eyeliner brush they call this one I think this is from the same set yeah I'm just going to try and smudge it a bit so that it doesn't look as harsh. That's smudged out super easily. Um, you could even soften it, like if you find black is a bit harsh, you could soften it with a brown over top of your eyeliner. But yeah, so far I'm really liking that. Okay, let's do the other right. Okay, unfortunately it has started to bleed into my lower waterline on this eye. So that's unfortunate. Um, not a lot, but still enough to be annoying. Especially if you don't like like in your waterline. Ow. Uh -oh. So it's a bit rough. As I said, I'm not the best at uh, eyeliner, but I will finish up my eye look and we'll get to the next thing. So the eyeliner on the other eye has started to bleed into the waterline as well. That is really quite annoying for a waterproof eyeliner. But so far, I like everything else about it. Easy to use, glides on smoothly, smudges out nicely. Okay, let's move on to the next product. Oh, <laughs> so the next product is a highlighter. This is from uh, Milk Makeup. Uh, this is their what are they calling it? Just calling it a highlighter. Okay, for multi use, creamy formula hydrates for a champagne. Pearl 
Glow. And this is available at Sephora and it is uh, 38. Sorry, I had to think about that. 38. And it only comes in a mini. So here's mine in the wee box. There's a wee picture of it. So let's open it up. Mine is in the shade. I think there's only two shades to choose from. This was the slightly darker shade from what I can remember. Um, and this one's called Lit. Interesting name. Eh? Okay. So here it is and it's wee tiny tiny mini. <laughs> it actually looks really dark. I'm hoping it doesn't go on that dark. We shall see. I like the size of it. So it's a wee screw top lid with a safety, not a safety, what are they called? There's a name for them. Oh, and does it have a twist top? Yes it is a twi twist top. Okay, let me put some on my hand. Oh wow, that feels really, really creamy. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show up. Oh yeah, there you go. You can just kind of see it. So it's got quite a bronzy kind of a, a tint to it. It might be too dark. Hmm. We shall see. Let's wipe this off my hand. So I have actually powdered my face, so I'm not going to put it directly onto my face. I'm going to put it on my dampened sponge. I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to squeeze my sponge in half. Just getting this wee kind of edge, and I'm going to put some on directly onto the sponge. And then, hopefully, <laughs> so I'm going to put this in like a C shape. So I'm going to go around this part here, not too close to the eye. Yeah, right here. So about there okay that's not really going on okay hang on let's clip my hair back I had to fish out some clips these probably aren't that big we'll <laughs> see how we go that eh, might be alright okay different plan let's take it on the hand Let's do it this way. It's so creamy. And hmm. I don't know if that's showing on camera or not. It's almost it's barely there. Not normally meant to do this because it's putting a cream over top of a powder and as we know, you don't mean to let's just try it and I'll just put it with my finger oh, actually that's not better <laughs> in fact it's worse okay definitely one to put on. I don't know. I've put two lots on this one already and I'm not getting much payoff in the colour. So let's just keep going. I'll put some more on. I think if the texture might be just too thin. It's like as I'm blending it in my hand it's just going to nothing and just leaving nothing. And this was a darker shade. Imagine if the lighter shade, well, imagine, sorry, I should say, if this is the darker shade, the lighter shade must be like nothing. It's just, it's not even leaving a residue on my hand. Hmm. 
Well, that was a disappointment. <laughs> I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and come back and let you know my thoughts. There you have it. There's the final look. So, <laughs> these two things. Okay, the eyeliner, I'm kind of annoyed that it bled into my, and it's still doing it, Ugh. bled into the waterline. Um, when I tight line, I mean this is waterproof. When you tight line, it's waterproof. It should be not bleeding. It says it shouldn't bleed. Anyway, uh, what I did like about it is it was very simple to use, um, glided on very easily. So I didn't have um, eyeshadow primer on. Today I just did um, concealer um, with a setting powder on top. So it glided very nicely over top. It was easy to blend out. Um, so it had good things about it. However, yeah, I'm not digging the bleeding into my waterline. But, as always, I will keep using it and attempt to do it different ways and try different things with it and see how I go and then I'll let you know, as usual, in my seasonal favourites. The, um, however, the highlighter was the biggest disappointment, to be honest. Um, yeah, it just, there's absolutely nothing showing and I've put quite a bit on. Would it work better? underneath the powder I don't know I'll try it I always got to give them a good you know good try but so far I'm not digging it it just blended out to nothing even on my hand and there was no nothing showing after I smoothed it out it's just like it's not there <laughs> that one I'm probably the most disappointed with but um, I will as I always do experiment with it try it different ways see if it works out, see if it doesn't. Wow, <laughs> not so good today. However, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you've tried either of these and you had different results <laughs> because I would love to know. Or even just say hi in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Everything else I have put on my face, I will list in the description box down below. But other than that, enjoy your day, evening, wherever you are. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.